hey guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be tackling my oldest son's bedroom gabriel he is 19 years old and as much as we or i leave the responsibility for my kids to clean up their room sometimes it needs that mama's touch <laughs> so this day i wanted to just go in there and completely clean out this room i did not do a rearrange but i did a huge refresh um there was a lot of things that i'd found a lot of trash that got thrown out just things that a teenager would leave in their room i can't tell you when the last time this kid played football maybe um last year but you guys it smelled like a locker and um, he goes to the gym just about every single day. He's in training um, and he's also um, dealing with, you know, speed and agility and all that stuff because he's got, he's, uh, will be trying out for the football team at the local uh, state college here. But you guys, his room smelled like a locker and we needed to clean this up. I needed to get that smell out. I needed to scrub his room up. So if you are ready for some inspiration and some cleaning, deep cleaning motivation, then this is the video for you. If you are new, welcome. My name is Rosa and I um, am a mama of three boys. Uh, my oldest is 19. My middle son is 15 um, and my youngest is 11, who's soon to be 12. And uh, this is what I do. <laughs> clean up after boys um, but I wouldn't change it for the world quite honestly so again before I go into in, you know any further of my mama feels um, welcome and thank you again for chat using or choosing this video picking this video to be your first video to watch with me if this is your first time and if you're a returning viewer you guys rock thank you so much your support is awesome um, and so let's just go ahead and jump into this cleaning video. I wanted to move um, his bed so I can get behind it. And I had to um, wipe down the, the, the windowsill and all that good jazz. You'll see that here shortly. Um, if you are not familiar with um, our AC um, conditioning, so right now we do not have an AC conditioner. Our AC is out. We are in the process of getting a new one. So this is a temporary fix. It was actually a loaner from our neighbor and it didn't have the window mount. So we had to be um, creative. So we used a cardboard box in his room. Um, but because of that, we noticed that there was a lot of stuff that was coming in because his window is actually out in front of the house where um, when we kept get our lawn cut and um, there was just dirt that came in. So I needed to go ahead and clean all that out. So you'll see that here shortly. Um, so um, after I get all of this pulled out, meaning his bed and getting behind there and fixing these lights, these twinkle lights on his headboard, I'm going to go ahead and sweep this floor up and I will show you what all I get from underneath his bed and on this floor. I don't believe happy acting like a fool to no use got me wondering why you still you giving me So here it is. Here is the treasure. <laughs> Everything that I found underneath his bed. And this is what his windowsill looks like, you guys. It is so gross. So I wanted to go ahead and get that all nice and cleaned up. I'm actually using Mrs. Meyer's um, The Peony Scent. Uh, that was from last year, actually. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to be on the Grove Collaborative website because that's where I got it from and or in uh, Target because um, that's where I've noticed a lot of um, Mrs. Myers is being sold. Um, but yes, if you are ever interested in any of the cleaning products that I use, um, I have a link down below 
in my description box um, for Mrs. Myers, or I'm sorry, for Grove Collaborative. Go check them out. You'll love it. I actually enjoy them. Um, I liked I like the idea of ordering online and having um, all of my cleaning products sent to me so that I can just simply focus uh, when I go to the grocery store just on groceries. So um, if you're that kind of mama um, or person that just likes to uh, not really worry about where your cleaning products are coming from, meaning the distributor, um, just as long as that they're coming to the house, then that would be a great um you know resource for you um, if not obviously you can definitely go to Target or even to Walmart and see what they've all got um, so we're gonna go ahead and close or clean out his closet or just kind of organize it a little bit what I did not do was touch the top shelf uh, there was just too many things up there and I said I'm I told myself there's just no way and while I was in this closet this is when I started smelling something funky and I just couldn't put my finger on it didn't know where it was coming from so I thought to myself let me just get everything out. Let me get all these clothes out. Realized this hamper was filled of dirty clothes. Uh, and then that was obviously something that needed to get washed. Then I looked at the other baskets and I thought, let's get those out. Let's organize those. Let me be a good mom here and uh, help him organize all of his socks and his undies and well, not undies, underwear and all that good jazz. Put it everywhere where it goes. And I'm going to show you a true reaction to a smell you guys I did it twice <laughs> who does that me I did that that is when I said okay this is horrible let me at least go get some uh, spray some carpet spray or pet odor spray anything something so I went and got some spray then I started to notice that the smell wasn't going away I even started smelling myself I thought well maybe it's me Nope. Here you go. <laughs> you guys, it was horrible. So at this point, I said, that's it. Everything gets washed. So I actually took all of his clothes from his dirty hamper to all of his clothes that were in the bins. And I said, it's all got to get washed because I can't distinguish where the smell is coming from. I am not going to burn the inside of my nose by smelling some funky feet and some funky booty. So I took it all out and I said, this is all getting cleaned. And I'm going to tell you, I can't, well, I can't tell you how many loads of laundry, but I want to say I did about five loads of laundry, including his dirty clothes and the baskets. And we were able to match, finally match all of his socks and get rid of things that needed to get tossed, things with holes. So I was kind of happy that I was able to do this, but then I did get caught. <laughs> he came home um, on his lunch hour and uh, was like, mom, what are you doing? And I said, honey, it stinks in your room. So let's go ahead and keep on cleaning um i think that's probably the last reaction to something in his room but understand this if you've got boys if you've got boys um you know my pain um because boys are nasty they're gross i don't see how any girl finds any of my boys attractive my boys are funky and uh if you do not have boys and you're expecting and do to have a child that is a boy I will pray for you now because boys are nasty and if you don't have any boys then god bless you i don't know what it's like to have a little girl but these boys are so gross
Now, if you're wondering on where I got the cube shelving, these are actually from Walmart. I would not recommend this one in particular because they're kind of wobbly. No, I actually think I got these from Target actually. Um, and this is a Chick-fil-A sauce that I found in this room. <laughs> but uh, these, these cube shelvings, I actually got them from Target to be exact. Uh, this one, it's the cheaper one because uh, I was doing a room makeover for him. Uh, so that's why we did the accent wall or an accent wall to, to be black. Um, and that is uh, cracked pepper. And the gray wall, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think it was like a silver gray is what it's called or gray, grayish silver, something of that nature. I'm not sure. Um, but I did this remodel refresh um kind of makeover last year and he loved it and that's when we redid the flooring in here um and so the last thing that i wanted to do for his room is take down the closet doors because uh he's actually broken them a couple of times and so I went to Ikea and I purchased the curtains because I did have an extra curtain rod and I said hang these up so that uh, you don't fall into your closet door anymore and break them any more than they already are. So they were trash. I couldn't keep them. I couldn't even try to salvage them. So I uh, wanted to go ahead and, and kind of add that, give them something. And I really do love how this room is. Quite honestly, I think it's very, very uh, teenager-y. I do like that it speaks boy um he is a shoe i don't even know what is the, what's the right right terminology he loves shoes um and he does invest his money in his shoes uh, and this is just a very small selection or collection of his shoes he's got more in his closet um and the goal is to get him more of these shelvings to go further up so that he can add uh, to his shoe collection and so, or take the shoes out of the, the closet to the shoe collection. Um, but I, I'm very, very happy with how this, this room turned out. It looks very nice. It's very masculine. Um, I always wanted to give my kids a room that speaks them. And this is my son. This is my 19 year old. Uh, so. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it looks really good. Um, I actually ended up adding some lights around his shoe case. Uh, and he was so excited to see it. Um, he actually uses that light, those lightings or the lights on his shoe cases to illuminate his room. Um, than actually using the light in his room so um but yeah i wanted to go ahead and clean around his playstation and clean all behind there and get all the crumbs and cat hair and that's the other thing that i'm fighting so much is all the cat hair that i'm finding that i am finding in his room mr harley is a very not only a fat cat but he's a hairy fat cat and so he sheds like crazy so if you guys have a remedy for that uh, issue please let me know my husband thinks the remedy is to get rid of him <laughs> but that is my son's cat and he absolutely loves him so now we're going to go ahead and uh, do some more laundry uh, needing to organize some of the clothes that I had brought into the laundry room that were in his closet um, but I did get to wash all of his pillows wash all of his uh, bedding and wash all of his clothes and that actually took me late into the evening
Now that the bed is just about to cleaned off, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these lights. These are just regular market lights that I had. I was actually going to put them out in the back patio, but they were glass and um, they had already fallen once and I busted three bulbs. So I didn't want to waste them and I uh, thought why not just use them in my, in my kids room. So this is when I decided to take uh, these market lights and just wrap them around uh, his shoe case as I mentioned earlier and then right after this um, I'll be moving into making his bed. So if you're wondering who this young person is that is helping me, uh, that I've recruited to uh, help me or assist me in putting the lights up for his older brother, this is my middle son. He is 15 years old. Uh, he is in 10th grade and he is 6'2", still growing and at a buck 80 in weight. Um, yeah. I have big boys. <laughs> My oldest son is, as I said, he's 19 and he's uh, also six, one and a half. Um, and he's about 200 and some 210. Um, but he's, he's, uh, yeah, I have beasts. Um, and then my youngest who is 11, soon to be 12. He is, he meets me right at my chin. Um, so my boys will all be tall. And I am thankful for that because uh, there are certain things in the house that I cannot reach. <laughs> so I always call in uh, my tall people. That's what I say. I need tall people help. So, so um, as I said, once I do, uh, once we get the lights around his shoe case and get all taped up, so then we're going to move on uh, to fixing the bed and fixing the rest of this bedroom. Drinking, that's just wasting time. 
I'd rather be spending it on working now. Some say I'm too uptight, but I disagree. I wake up and live my dream. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it. So you guys know as you clean up one space there's a mess being created in another space and this is my hallway so i needed to go ahead and vacuum up this area put things away um, mop this hallway as well since i had the mop already made or the the soapy water made i wanted to go ahead and, and mop this for you guys saw how nasty the bottom of my feet were i can't put blame on if it was his bedroom because I did walk outside a couple of times and I'm not one to go outside barefoot but I think I did I don't know but I needed to go ahead and finish up the laundry you know move things around we still have a ton at this time a ton of clothes to do uh, needed to hang things that couldn't get dried just there was so much left but I have to just tell you guys, his room turned out so good. And I hope you guys like it. Um, it turned out so great. I'm just, I'm in awe of it. I actually like it a lot. Like I'm in love with his bedroom. But as much as I tell you guys of how messy and how nasty my boys are, boys, that's what boys are. And I'm not on here to bash my son uh, or any of my kids. Um, but, you know, that responsibility of cleaning the room does uh, lie on them. But... I am their parent and I need to go ahead and make sure it stays cleaned and so if they can't get it as clean as I would like it of course I'm gonna step in of course I'm gonna help them out um, don't get me wrong they hear me along the way but I wanted to go in there and give his room a really good scrub down clean out get that funk whatever it was that was coming out of that closet Get that all nice and cleaned and I just really wanted um, to share this video with you guys because these are teenage boys and these are kids and they have a lot that they're dealing with in life already and I just don't want to have to be that hard parent and although um, they deserve it at times but I'm not that hard parent 24 7 so I wanted to show him some love by cleaning his room so when he got home from work all he had to do was crawl into bed well take a shower and crawl into bed so if you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up I thank you guys so very much for joining me today um, this is dedicated to all the hard work and mamas out there with teenage kids or teenage boys or teenage daughters whatever it is um, I'm there with you and I love you and stay strong um, these kids will learn at some point in their life <laughs> um, but give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Much love, and God bless.